there is a common thread running through a number of conversations that I've had with a variety of people in different parts of the world over the last couple of weeks. What has struck me is the extent to which people, generally speaking, seem to be running away from something in their lives rather than running towards something that they really, really want, that would really, really turn them on. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about who are people who are dissatisfied with the relationships in which they find themselves. I'm talking about people who are fed up doing the same job for the last 10 or 15 years. I'm talking about people who are up to their eyes in debt and are fed up with the stress and worry that financial problems seem to bring to their lives, seem to permeate every aspect of their lives. They're the kind of things that people are currently running away from. Now, you must ask yourself the question, which is more of a turn-on for the subconscious mind, the part of your mind that runs your life? Something that you want to get away from? Or something big and exciting that really turns you on, that you want to have in life? Put it another way. Which is better from the perspective of the life that you live? Running away from a big tiger that is chasing you through the bushes out onto a sandy beach? Or running out onto that sandy beach to admire the beautiful horizon and the sunset? You get the picture. Subconscious mind is not going to be turned on in the morning. You're not going to jump out of bed in the morning on the basis of you thinking to yourself, I hope to get away from the situation in which I find myself. I really want to disentangle my financial mess. I really want a new job, but I'm not really sure what that new job might be. You have to turn yourself on. You have to get away from what is, in effect, a negative mindset. I don't want this. Not into, I do want this specifically, or I must have that specifically. But I do want to be happy, content, turned on, and successful in the here and now. That is probably the greatest goal we can have in life, because we never know what's going to happen to us. We never know what knocks we might have to endure, what knocks we might have to take action in the face of. We never know what great things are around the corner, perhaps much, much greater than our normal perspective could ever imagine. So perhaps the greatest goal we can have when we leap up in the morning is today is a great day. Now I don't mean that from the perspective of the normal positive affirmation that is encouraged by certain motivational speakers that you look in the mirror and say to yourself I am wonderful, I am great. If you're feeling crap and you know you're going to have a bad day that's got not going to get you anywhere. What I'm talking about is focus. What I'm talking about is paying attention. What I'm talking about is being present, having presence and keeping your eyes wide open to what is going on so that you can see the bad things coming and act appropriately and embrace the good things. Grasp the opportunities that normal people from a normal perspective will never see. Why? Because they're looking backward at the thing they want to run away from. You need to look into the here and now and see the wonderful things in the here and now that can bring you to places as you couldn't even imagine.